So the blue scale is very similar to the pentatonic scale. There's not much in it apart from that one blues note on the third fret position. So if you play the pentatonic scale in E, and then you play the blues scale in E, then you really only got one note of a difference. But it's that note, so it gives it that little twist, makes it sound a little bit more bluesy. So to give yourself a few more notes just to play around with, just make it a little bit broader, then you just mix in some of the notes of the, the major scale, combine it along with the blues scale, and you got a lot more to play with, sounds a little bit more interesting. So here's your blues scale mixed in with some added notes from the major scale. So one of the other things you can think about is the 12 bar blues progression. The B7, the A7, and the E7. The notes that are combined in those chords also kind of belong a little bit to the major scale and to the blues scale. So if you look at a B7, you've got an F sharp in there. You've also got this E flat note there on the fourth string. You've got the B obviously there and the open B and the A. So the B note and the A note, they're already in your E blues scale. The ones that are not in it are the E flat and your F sharp. So D sharp, F sharp, they're contained in your E major scale. So there's a little hint why we're including the major scale. Then you look at A7. A7's got a C sharp. And the other notes, E and your E. So really, the C sharp is the one that's not in your E blues scale, but the E and the E are in the E blues scale. So you could take that C sharp out of there and again include it into the blues scale. Also the C sharp is part again of your E major scale. Then the other chord we look at is the E7. Again, you're thinking, well, what notes are in that that are in the blues scale? Well, you've got the B. You've got the E. Or the D. And that's about it. B. D. And E. So the foreign note that's not included in the blues scale in there is that, that G sharp. So 
Let's have a closer look at the notes we're going to add in. Starts with your open E. Then just drop it down to that E flat on the second string. That'll be one of the notes that's in a B7 chord. Then it drops to the D on the third fret of your second string. That's one of the notes that's in the blues scale and it's also in an E7 chord. Next note down is that C sharp or D flat on the second fret on the second string. That note's in an E7 chord. So there you've got your little mix of blue scale plus a little bit of the major scale already. E, E flat, D's normally in the blue scale, and that D flat. really sounds a little bit more interesting. You continue down that scale and you get to your open B, which is normally in the blue scale. After that you've got the blues note, the B flat, which is on your which is on your third fret. That's the sort of foreign though it doesn't come into the major scale at all. Dropping it down to an E. So you can think of your A7 and the A is also in the B7. So that gives you the top part, the little high bit. And then What's quite nice is you drop that E down to the E flat. That note would be in an E7 chord. And then take it down to your open G, which is normally in your blues scale. So that gives us a good few E notes to play around with already. Sounds quite good, and you get a few bit more interesting kind of bluesy notes in there. Gives it a little, let's say, a little twist. 